Hey friends, tonight we are going to be dining at one of Disney's signature restaurants, the Yachtsman Steakhouse, right here at Disney's Yacht Club Resort. And I have never eaten here before, but it does have a reputation for having the best steak on Disney property. So I'm here to find out. Anywho's, let's go do this. The Yacht Club is hands down one of the beautifulest resorts I think I've ever seen. I love coming here and just hanging out and it's connected to the beach club so if you end up staying here it's kind of like you get two resorts for the price of one. Yachtsman Steakhouse actually reopened in August and I have been really looking forward to actually coming out and trying it. I've never eaten here before like I said but I've been going around and trying all the different restaurants around Walt Disney World and this one has been on my list for a while and I was just waiting for it to reopen and here we are. We have a little time before our dining reservation, so I thought maybe we would just explore around the Yacht Club a little bit, show you the lobby, and uh, just kind of relax. It was a little challenging to actually get a reservation here. The restaurant is only open from 5 p.m. till 9.30, and it's only five days a week at the moment. I think it's uh, Wednesday through Sunday, and they're closed Mondays and Tuesdays, but I got lucky today. This is the lobby of the Yacht Club Resort, and I just love it in here. Everything is so fresh and clean, and I just like the decor. I love the gigantic carpet, the furniture. Everything about this resort is beautiful. They have two restaurants on the Yacht Club side. They have the Ale and Compass and then the Yachtsman Steakhouse. I have eaten at the Ale and Compass before, but this is, like I said, my first time for the Yachtsman Steakhouse. And Ale and Compass was actually very good breakfast when I ate here the last time. And maybe one day I'll come back and do dinner, but today it's all about the Yachtsman. Another really cool thing to point out, this resort is a four diamond resort awarded by AAA. That and Beach Club, so Beach and Yacht Club, four diamonds. Very fancy and they got the awards actually on display right here in the lobby. And they actually look really fancy. Here is the Yachtsman Steakhouse, and they have a little lounge right next door to it that's the Cruise Cup Lounge. Now, they actually have a menu that you can order food in there, but it's not the full menu like you would get here at the Yachtsman. So, I decided to actually do a dining reservation, or else I would just go to the first come, first serve lounge. Even though it's not the full menu at the Cruise Cup, it's still an actual decently sized menu. You can see you can get some of the chef's signature selections, including the 14 ounce roasted prime rib, the 12 ounce New York strip, and a couple of other land and sea entrees. But we're looking for the big, big good menu, and that's gonna be right on the other side over here by Yachtsman. We are all checked in for our reservation, and now we're just hanging out, and I noticed something really cool. They're basically cutting all of the steaks in the dry aged room, and you gotta get a good first-hand look of it, and I think it's so amazing. Look at that. They just got it on an open glass, so you can take a peek see in there, and I am getting so hungry looking at all of these steaks. I mean, they have a lot of steak in there. That is a lot of beef. I'm not even sure what steak I'm gonna get here today. I mean, uh, usually the filet is probably the most popular, but I think I'm gonna try something a little bit different. Here is a closer look at all of the steaks they offer. We've got a filet, a prime ribeye, a porterhouse, a prime New York strip, and all of the steaks are aged or dry aged seven days, except for the porterhouse, that is dry aged 28 days, and I think I am so excited. I mean, all of these look absolutely amazing and they're cutting them right here right now so this is like the dry aged room for display now we have made it to our table and i have to say this restaurant is beautiful and as we were walking in i got a tour and they showed me the dry age room all of the steaks are dry aged seven days except for the porterhouse and i think that is 21 days they said and the porterhouse is actually for two i think it's 28 ounces and all the other steaks go from eight to 16. so you have a big variety of options here and plus a lot of land and sea combinations so we're gonna look over the menu a little bit 
it's nice to see a full menu again instead of a digital one. And they've got a good selection of different cocktails, Captain Mai Tais, Whiskey Breezes, a good bottled beer selection, and a draft beer selection. But here's the actual menu menu itself. And you can see they have a lot to choose from. They've got jumbo shrimp cocktail appetizers, French onion soup, a chef's signature offering, a 28 ounce dry aged prime porterhouse for two. That sounds amazing, but it's for two people and it's $139 and I'm all by myself. So I think I'm actually just gonna stick with the butcher's cut, a 16 ounce ribeye steak prime and that comes with a blue cheese shallot that I might actually sub out for the brandy peppercorn one that comes on the New York Strip. I think that sounds a little bit better for me. And then you pick a side and they've got good side offerings. Truffle mac and cheese, cream spinach, grilled asparagus, house-made truffle fries, all the works here. I am very excited for this meal. I went ahead and ordered an Orange Blossom Pilsner. These are one of my favorite beers actually locally. And I'm shocked that they had it on uh, draft here. A couple of the beers that they had, I think they have three of them, they're all local brews. And that's really fancy of them. As we wait, our bread service has arrived. And take a look at this. Wow. Multiple different breads in here. This looks so, so good. And then the butter, it looks like a salted maybe a salted butter there oh wow this is gonna be good i'm excited to try the bread service this looks really fancy we're gonna start off with the classic onion pull apart roll and it is a uh, pink himalayan salt butter but take a look oh wow that breaks apart kind of like a croissant or like a it's very airy that is so so good oh my lord i can't get over how easy that was to pull apart so we're gonna grab a little butter here Put it right on there and we're gonna give this a go we're gonna give it a test if the bread service is good i can only imagine what the steak is gonna be like and so far i'm impressed the restaurant has a beautiful decor to it very busy very hopping like i said it was hard to get reservations here because of the limited time that it's open but i'm excited i'm here the onion roll is one of the best bread service I think I've had at Disney World. So like I said, that's a very good start. And I ended up ordering, I went with the 16 ounce and instead of getting the blue cheese shallot, I went with the cognac truffle butter. And that was actually the one they served on the porterhouse and the filet. And they let you switch it up. And uh, to go along with the steak, I got truffle fries and grilled asparagus. You can only choose one, but I want to get a little vegetable in there so I ended up getting the asparagus along with it and plus I love asparagus and I'm super excited for house cut truffle fries and just like that our steak has arrived take a look at that bad boy right there so amazing we've got the house made truffle fries we've got the asparagus and then we got the ribeye itself We'll check this side, look at this. Oh boy, like butter I say. I ordered it mid-rare, but I asked for a little bit of char on the outside. I like Pittsburgh usually, but I kind of decided to just kind of stay back a little bit. I did get a little bit of the char like I do like, and I don't think I'm gonna need any char because I'm gonna love it just the way it is. I'm gonna try the steak plain just the way it is, and then I'm gonna try it with the cognac truffle butter, but look at that. I am so excited to try this bad boy. Here we go. <laughs> that is so, so amazing. Oh, much too good. Perfectly the way I like it. And now we're going to grab a little bit of that truffle butter right there just gonna put it on there melt it down a little bit add it perfectly this is the one i think 
The truffle cut fries are absolutely amazing. Look at these bad boys. Loaded and I love it. And they're hand cut right in here. The truffle fries are so, so good. And they definitely accompany the steak and the truffle butter all together. So it's a good combination. Now they do have regular fries that come with it. You to choose mashed potatoes. If you want the truffle fries, it's $4 extra. But I suggest doing it because they are amazing. Now we're gonna dive into these amazing looking asparagus. Look at that, grilled perfectly. These are so, so, I'm, I'm obsessed with asparagus. This is like a new thing for me. Uh, I think I tried it for the first time, well, just about two years ago. And now everywhere I go, I try to get the asparagus just to see if it tastes any different than all the other spots that I've had. And believe it or not, they all have a different taste to them. A nice little snap to it and it's so amazing. I love the asparagus and like I said, I think it's the sauce that they cook it in. I don't know, but asparagus is now my favorite vegetable. <laughs> I think I like a little bit of a mixture. So, I don't know, a lot of people do like the fatty parts of a steak and a fatty part of a steak adds a lot more flavor to it. So I like to take a little bit of the fat and a little bit of the regular steak and just like nice big bite and it's perfect. I add a little bit of that truffle butter and excellent. But I do have to agree, this is probably one of the best steaks I've had at Disney. I think once we get done and I've finished the whole meal, we'll start ranking the ones that I like the most and give you a good breakdown and a full review of what I think. But I think it needs to sit first. Like I need to enjoy the meal and then talk about it. So here we go, to the steak. <laughs> Now that we have successfully finished the steak, which was absolutely amazing, and I love the asparagus and the truffle fries, it's time to look at dessert. We've got a Yachtsman chocolate cake for two, a strawberry shortcake, and a pineapple coconut tart. They all look pretty amazing. I am very interested in the chocolate cake, and it is set for two, and it's $19, so I think I might get it, and I probably won't be able to finish it, and uh, take a box home and have a little dessert for maybe tomorrow. I think I mean <laughs> I mean unless it's that good and that small but something tells me it's gonna be a big chocolate cake and here is the chocolate cake wow it kind of is like very fancy it's not what I was expecting to be honest I don't think I've ever seen a chocolate cake that looks like this but they still have to cut it so we're gonna get a look on the inside and I'm just in I'm, I'm kind of just curious <laughs> he said you can do it wow. oh boy and I'm very gentle. <laughs> this is remarkable. You know the outside chocolate. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> it's such a layered cake. Oh. Nice. Oh my lord, look at that. Like opening a lot. <laughs> so good. So if you want to see, we have the chocolate decante, chocolate peanut, chocolate cake, blueberry, and then I forgot the rest. <laughs> peanut dipped, isomat, and berry curd, and berry compo. Berry compo and whipped cream. I know the whipped cream. Oh, the whipped cream up top. I thought that was ice cream. <laughs> Doesn't it look like it? <laughs> That, that looks good. That it didn't come perfect, but it's okay. It's beautiful. <laughs> I feel like it's a dinner with a show with the chocolate cake. That's a really nice presentation, and it comes with a salted chocolate sauce. And the thing with layered cakes, it's so hard because you kind of want to get everything in one bite, but you really can't do that because it's so big and it's hard to cover a big area. So I'm going to try to get it all together and just have like the ultimate bite, if I can. Okay, I'm gonna try doing it like this, making sure we get a little bit of everything all in one bite. All in one big bite here. Hey, moly. That's the stuff. Honestly, all the different flavors happening inside here is mind-blowing. So it's like a, 
chocolate candy coated, like a candy shell, a chocolate shell around a cake with peanut butter, with berry compo, with uh, chocolate crispies as well, and then topped with whipped cream. Like this is a, this is like a piece of art. And now I think I am all finished. That dessert was phenomenal. Honestly, I can say it's probably my favorite Disney World dessert. It was so, so good. All the different layers and different flavors all combined made it perfect. And the hand, uh, the hard candy shell or the chocolate shell is so unique. And uh, the steak, I probably would put it at uh, my top five. It'd be in my top five. It didn't take my top spot from Shula's. Shula's, I absolutely love. This one was very very good though. Uh, still up there we're along with Le Cellier, Topolino's, California Grill, and uh, overall I love the uh, Yachtsman Steakhouse. Very cool dining experience. The staff was wonderful and I love the whole atmosphere. Now the table next to me had the prime rib and they were a very nice lovely couple and I think I want to come back and try the prime rib just from looking at their meal. I was like wow that looks good so uh, I think I'll do that next time try the prime rib and if you guys know of any other recommendations of where I can get a good steak let me know because the search continues. Gotta find the best steak in Disney. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye!